Hey, how's it going folks? Hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you about double kick drumming. Uh, I consistently get asked how to become faster and more efficient at playing double kick. And so I'm going to share a series of exercises and tips with you that will hopefully help you achieve that goal. But first off, I want to share some insight with you that I've kind of gathered over the years. And this is regardless of what style of music you play, or what gear you use, or your technique, okay? Um, there are three things to me that are really key when it comes to mastering the double kick and drums in general. It's patience, practice, and perseverance. Um, I think practice speaks for itself, so I'm not going to detail that. But patience is very important when it comes to playing double kick, because it's a very physical thing. So um, I compare it kind of to going to the gym, you know, if you're bench pressing 70 pounds, you're not just going to bench press 100 pounds two weeks later because you're doing 70 pounds every day and, and trying to get better. It's going to take time. The same thing happens with double kick, like gaining BPM will take time. And it, it, it requires you to master techniques. It requires you to develop your muscles. So it's um, a work that can last months or years easily, you know, depending on how fast you're trying to go. And that's where perseverance comes in because, you know, you're going to get times where you're going to get discouraged and it's going to seem completely impossible to reach what you're trying to reach. And we all get that, including myself. So when that happens, the key is to just keep going. Never give up. Consistently practice. You know, if you can't practice daily, then at least try to have some sort of regular schedule because as with every physical workout, it will require consistency and just you know, keep going. I'm going to be playing single strokes with the feet. I'm going to be switching between 16th and 32nd notes, and I'll be playing a halftime beat over that with the hands. I find that a pretty ideal exercise to begin with because it's not too strenuous as opposed to playing fast consistently. This will give you breaks. This will allow you to keep going and practicing. And um, you can set the beginning tempo wherever is comfortable for you. You know, I would suggest not starting out too fast, except if you're already familiar with higher speeds. But let's start at 160 BPM, which should be, you know, a relatively common starting point. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So that was 160 BPM. A little bit faster. Let's try 180. Faster still? 200. Let's go. One, two, three, four. So the idea is to practice this longer lengths of time. I would suggest between three and five minutes at every tempo, because that's kind of when your muscles start building. And um, don't focus only on speed, focus also on the slower tempos, which you need to master as well. And being precise at low tempos with the double kick can be rough too. All right, this being said, let's try 220 BPM, shall we? One, two, three, four. Alright, 
right, so after some sweaty warming up here, I'm gonna try 240 BPM for you. you enjoyed this first double kick lesson next week we'll take a look at technique so stay tuned and practice hard cheers